blood clotting and Johnson & Johnson vaccine. As the COVID-19 pandemic is prevailing all around the globe, scientists and medical experts are leaving no stone unturned in developing a vaccine to counter this deadly virus. Along with the benefit of immunizing against coronavirus, there comes the risk of potential side effects of a vaccine. So is the case with Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine which is reported to have caused blood clots in women in the U.S. Although the blood clot ratio is very small, as only six people suffered from blood clots out of 7.4 million people in the U.S. who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So, why does it happen, and what are the potential causes of this disorder? Has the U.S. government paused its supply? To get all your answers, make sure you stay with us right till the end of this video. A pause in the use of Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the U.S. Following the emergence of rare cases of blood clots, the U.S. federal health regulators immediately recommended stopping the use and supply of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine to investigate the matter. This decision was taken to properly investigate six reports of blood clots in women aged from 18 to 48. Recently, Two more cases are also reported in the U.S. A man developed the blood clot after receiving this vaccine during a clinical trial, and women have also been reported to suffer from the disorder. Out of the total eight blood clots, seven are found in the brain region. As of April 2021, 7.4 million people in the U.S. had received Johnson & Johnson vaccine without suffering from other adverse reactions. What is a pause? While you hear the term pause, many of you might get confused and think, what does this actually mean? Is the vaccine permanently banned? Well, that's not the case. After vaccines go into wide use or during clinical trials, medical experts keep a strict eye on their performance and track any medical issues experienced by the people receiving the dose. If an unexpected large cluster of medical problems arises, the health regulators decide to stop the use of the vaccine or pause its trial for a certain time to investigate the issue. Pauses are common, and if the research reveals that the vaccine can be risky to anyone's health, the supervisors issue new guidelines about who can continue using the vaccine or who are at high risk. This also gives ample time to the doctors to recognize and treat the disorder. After this development, the government officials revealed in a news conference that the review would likely take only a few days. However, the CDC advisory panel extended the pause for at least a week so they could investigate the clotting problem more efficiently. Why does blood clotting happen? Several types of research are taking place in the U.S. after people developed blood clots two weeks after receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. In seven of the eight with this condition, clots are formed in the veins that drain blood from the brain leading to a condition called cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. According to Dr. Ann Shuchat of the CDC, the results are stroke-like. Some medical experts say it appears to be caused by a severe reaction by the immune system to the vaccine which generated antibodies. This, in turn, activates the platelets, which are responsible to form normal clots and help in repairing wounds. In addition to clots, abnormal bleeding has also been reported. Up until now, researchers have not predicted any underlying condition to predict who will develop the disorder. However, if some traits are identified in the patients suffering from the disorder, we might get to know about the potential victims who are at risk, said Dr. Fauci. Wondering about the symptoms of this disorder? Stay with us right till the end to discover. Is this problem linked with AstraZeneca vaccine in Europe? A similar problem had also arisen in Europe last month, when certain people, out of 190 million vaccinations, developed blood clots after receiving the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. The public is wondering whether it is the same problem as that of the clots linked with the J&J vaccine. Well, it is still unknown, but according to Dr. Marks of the FDA, the cases and symptoms are pretty much alike. To begin the process of immunizing yourself against the coronavirus, both Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca used the same adenovirus to carry DNA into the human body. It is still not clear whether this technology causes the disorder. According to German experts, as mentioned earlier, the DNA from the vaccine may trigger an intense immune overreaction 
but the condition is so rare that medical experts say patients likely also have some common biological trait that predisposes them to the immune response. Researches are being carried out, and till some conclusive evidence is found, it is too early yet to say if the blood clots from J&J and AstraZeneca are linked or not. What does the company say about the disorder? Immediately after the cases were reported, Johnson & Johnson said the company is fully aware of an extremely rare condition involving people with blood clots. The company added that they are having a close look at the possible reasons and are reviewing the cases with the European authorities. Looking at the situation, the company has proactively delayed the rollout of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Is this disorder treatable? The answer to this common question is yes. However, the treatment must begin as soon as possible, otherwise the condition might get worse. In Europe, blood thinners are used to dissolve the clots, and to eliminate the misguided antibodies, intravenous immune globulin is given to the patients. The federal health officials in the U.S. have advised not to use the common blood thinner, heparin, because the disorder closely resembles a rare syndrome caused by heparin. So, to avoid things getting worse, make sure you use any other blood thinner. What are the symptoms of J&J linked clotting disorder? We know you are waiting for this part. Here it is. According to the U.S. health officials of FDA, the symptoms linked with the disorder include persistent abdominal pain, swelling in the leg, severe headaches, small blood clots under the skin where the injection was given, or blurred vision. But these symptoms are so common that almost immediately the U.S. hospitals and emergency rooms experienced a massive number of patients who were worried that they might have developed the blood clots. So the ones who experienced such symptoms, the wise decision is to conduct a blood test to detect the antibodies first. Conclusion That's all about the blood clotting problem caused by the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. If you are the one experiencing the given symptoms, there's no need to panic. Consult your doctor and have some blood tests done. If you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the like button. Also, your precious comments will be welcomed in the comment section. Till the next video, it's goodbye.